Hello viewers, welcome to Civil Engineering Shilohs Updates. Today we are going to learn design of footing in detail. Don't miss this video and watch until last. It would be very interesting to learn through this video. What are all the steps required? Find total load. Area of footing required. Pressure acts on footing. Factor bending moment. Effective depth. Area of tension reinforcement. Check for one way shear. Check for two way shear. Development length. Details of reinforcement. Let us assume a square column isolated footing. Course load is 1100 kN and the column size is 400 mm into 400 mm. The bearing capacity of soil is 100 kN per mm square. Head of concrete M20. Steel used Fe415. Step 1. Total load. Assume self weight of footing as 0.1p. So substitute the values you get the answer 110 kN. Therefore total load W is equal to P plus 0.1p. When we substitute the value, we get the answer 1210 kN. Step 2. Area of footing required. The formula is A is equal to W upon SBC. Where W is the total load, SBC means soil bearing capacity. When we substitute the value, we get the area of footing required as 12.1 meter square. For square footing, size of footing is equal to square root of A. When we take the square root value, we get the answer 3.478 meter, which is approximately equal to 3.5 meter. Therefore, provide 3.5 meter into 3.5 meter square footing. So, Total area required is equal to 12.25 meter square. Step 3. Pressure acts on footing. Pressure is equal to PU by A. Where PU is the factored load and A is the total area of footing. When we substitute the values, we get the answer 148.16 kN per meter square. Step 4. Factored bending moment per meter. To find factored bending moment, consider entire footing as cantilever beam from the face of column. Then calculate bending moment, that is BM. Now calculate span for the cantilever portion, that is hatched portion. We know that the formula is P into L square upon 2. Then substitute L is equal to B minus D by 2. Now you may have a doubt that how this L is equal to B minus D by 2 has came here. Let me explain. We need only the length of hatched portion. Refer this diagram. Here the breadth of footing is taken as B. And the length of column is taken as D. So L is equal to B minus D upon 2 gives the value for the hatched portion in the diagram.
Now substitute the values in the above formula to calculate factored bending moment. After calculating, we get the answer 622.92 kN where L is equal to B for square footing. Step 5. Effective depth. D required is equal to square root of MU upon 0.138 into FCK into B. This formula has been derived from IS 456-2000 page number 96 for FE 415.138 FCK BD square where MU is the factored moment FCK characteristic compressive strength of concrete after 28 days B breadth of footing. Now substitute values in the above formula. Now we get the answer 253.93 mm. Note, for shear considerations increase depth 1.752 to 2 times more than the calculated value. Therefore, 253.93 mm is approximately equal to 250 mm. Now multiply by 2, so we get the answer 500 mm. Therefore, adopt effective depth as 500 mm and overall depth as 550 mm because for footing cover is 50 mm. Step 6. Area of Tension Reinforcement From IS 456-2000 page number 96 G11B use the quadratic equation MU is equal to 0.87 Fy into AST into D 1 minus AST Fy upon BD into FCK where MU is the factored bending moment Fy is the minimum yield strength in Newton per mm square FCK is the characteristic compressive strength in Newton per mm square D is the effective depth and B is the breadth of footing Now substitute all the values in the above formula. And we get the answer 3604.62 mm square. Find this answer using calculator. Let us see how to find this answer using calculator easily. is equal to AST upon span. Span means length of footing which is equal to 3604.5 upon 3.5. So we get the answer 1029.85 mm square. 
c area of one ball small a is t equal to pi d square upon 4 assume 12 mm dia ball the pi value is 3.14 into d value is 12 so 12 square upon 4 so we get the answer 113.09 mm square Pacing of reinforcement is equal to area of one bar upon area per meter in 2000 that is small ast upon capital ast in 2000 when we substitute the values we get the answer 100 mm therefore provide 12 mm dia bars at 100 mm center to center distance spacing number of bars capital ast upon small ast is equal to 1029.85 upon 113.09 so we get the answer 9 number of bars Step 7. Check for one-way shear. What is mean by one-way shear? Did you know? In one-way shear, failure happens along the footing from edge to edge. Shear force per meter. Consider this as the footing. This is the column. This is the critical section D from the face of column for one way shear. Area of footing is 3.5 into 3.5 and the area of column is 400 mm into 400 mm. We know that force is equal to pressure into area. To find force at this critical section distance D from the face of support, the formula is VU equal to P into B into L minus D upon 2 minus D. Now substitute the values. We get the answer 155.57 kN is equal to 155.57 into 10 power 3 Newton. Nominal shear stress from IS 456 2000 page number 62 32.4.2 tau V is equal to VU by BD. When we substitute the values we get the answer 0.31 Newton per mm square. Percentage of steel equal to 100 into AST upon B into D. When we substitute the values, we get the answer 0 0.20. Now refer table number 19, page number 73 of IS456-2000. In this table 19, for 0 0.20, you, you will get the values like this. By interpolation method, we can get the answer. The answer is 0 0.32 Newton per mm square which is the answer for tau c. Therefore, tau v is less than tau c. Hence, the design is safe against one-way shear. Check for two-way shear. What is mean by two-way shear? Did you know? In two-way shear, the footing will shear off all around the footing. In other words, the column punches the footing. 
Here, the critical section is taken as d by 2 away from the face of column. Why d by 2 is taken? Because the distance d by 2 is related to the mode of failure and capacity equation. Now refer IS456-2000 page number 59 effects of openings on critical section for shear. This is in the code book. You can refer this page also. This is given for two-way shear. Two-way punching shear. The red line shows footing. The purple color shows column. And the green color shows critical section. Footing that is effective depth is 500 mm. Therefore, the critical section d by 2 equal to 500 upon 2 is equal to 250 mm. You can understand easily by seeing this diagram. I have shown with different colors to understand this concept of two-way shear easily. Shear force per meter. We know that force is equal to pressure into area. Therefore, Vu is equal to P into A. So, P into area of footing minus 0.9 square. You can see this diagram to understand easily. Area of footing is 3.5 into 3.5. That is 3.5 square. And the area of critical section is 0.9 meter into 0.9 meter. So substitute those values in this formula and we get the answer 1695 kilonewton is equal to 1695 into 10 power 3 newton. Perimeter. We know that perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into length of your side. Here we have to find the perimeter of the critical section. So perimeter is equal to 4 into 900 which is equal to 3600 mm. Nominal shear stress. To find nominal shear stress refer IS456-2000 page number 72 40.1. Tau V is equal to VU upon B0 into D. When we substitute the values, we get the answer 0.941 Newton per mm square. Maximum shear stress permitted. For this, refer IS456-2000 page number 59. In that page, the formula for tau C is given as 0.25 into square root of FCK which is equal to 0.25 into square root of 20, which is equal to 1.11 Newton per mm square. And this is the value for tau C. Hence, tau V is less than tau C. Hence, design is safe against two-way shear. Step 9. Development length, which is also called as anchorage length. Why development length is provided in footing? Did you know? To transfer load from steel to column, development length is provided in footing. Refer IS456-2000 page number 42, 26.2.1. For limit state method, there is also a formula. Development length LD is equal to 0.87 into Fy into pi upon 4 into tau BD where Fy is the grade of steel, pi is the nominal diameter assume here 12 mm diabar and tau BD is the design bond stress which should be taken from 
26.2.1 that is page number 43 IS 456-2000. When we substitute the values we get the answer 902.625 mm. But development length is provided in both sides. Therefore, divide the value by 2 and we get the answer 451.3 mm, which is equal to 450 mm. Now, check the length availability for development length LD. How to check? The formula is length of 14 minus length of column upon 2. Substitute the values and we get the answer 1550 mm, which is sufficient. And hence it is OK. Step 10. Details of reinforcement. If you like this video, Kindly do subscribe, click the bell icon, share this video, and do support my channel Civil Engineering Shinos Updates. If you have any query, mail me at Shilo's updates at gmail.com Thank you.